Well, the Miramichi Folk Song Festival is now Canada's longest standing folk song festival. Uh, this past summer we celebrated the 56th season. I've been director for 31 years. There's probably 100 to maybe 200 songs written about the Miramichi. And it's down home where uh, and somebody could come in and have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and listen to the music if they want to get up and dance, whatever, uh, you know, everything is spontaneous, especially with our audience. And when somebody comes in on a Monday and say, well, we're just here for the night, and you look on Friday night and those same people are still here. So it tells us we've done something right. It's certainly a, a tourist draw. And uh, our people come from all over Canada, from the Maritimes, from the States, and uh, overseas as well. And from England, believe it or not. Yay! Of course, the song that I wrote was called The Mystical Magical Miramichi, and there's something mystic and there's something magic about the river. I never saw it coming, I'll tell you that right now. And uh, I, it was uh, surreal. It, uh, and it's, it's not just mine, it belongs to the Miramichi. No one achieves those uh, honors on their own. And uh, I've had a great team of people over the years. The last 31 years that I have been directing the Folk Song Festival, I have people that have been with me for 30 years. I must say, uh, we couldn't have a success without you people. Well, as far as I'm concerned, if you haven't come to the Miramichi, you haven't really had the full grip of what the Maritimes is all about.